Hello, friends. Happy Wednesday. Ah, a rare light day at work today, so I'm actually taking a little bit of time out early. It's uh, just about 2 o'clock today. Gets busy again around 3. The live. I'm enjoying a mystery. Let me get some of this out for you. This is a tobacco. So, well, first off, let me give you the whole, the whole story before I show you the tobacco. So, we got a package uh, a few days ago from our friends uh, Stephen Skip Kane, and it was uh, a jar of Steph's homemade. I believe it's cactus and jicama uh, jelly or jam. I'm, I'm not real good at jelly versus jam. Um, absolutely delicious. Thank you, Steph. We, we really appreciate the chance to try it. My wife pretty much commandeered it. Uh, I, I'm not a, I don't eat a lot of sweet things. So I tried it and I said, yeah, that's very good. But she, she'll be the one that uh, enjoys that the most. But Steph and Skip also included this. This is a mystery tobacco. They didn't know what it was. I don't know what it is. It's some really beautiful flakes. It is very familiar to me. Um, can't put the pipe in the bag. It has a an apricot smell, and it's so familiar. And I know that I've had this before, but I cannot tell you what it is. It was a little dry, so I did the paper towel method and rehydrated it. 24 hours later, it's, it's smoking great. It's a Virginia. It's definitely a Virginia flake. It's got a lot of red Virginia. There's a little bit of bright Virginia in there, so it's got a little bit of that citrusy tanginess to it, but not much. And there might be a touch of perique. It's hard for me to tell. And I, um, I'm trying real hard to see if there's a topping. And I think, I think that apricot smell might be a remnant of a of an apricot topping, but. Or maybe it's some other flavor that I'm just having trouble identifying. But it's not chemical, it's 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 a natural flavor. Um, very nice. I'm not getting any burly. And I'm really struggling with the preek. I think it's there, but it's it's not a lot. Just a little bit of a spicy retro note, just, just a tad. It's got some nice deep sweetness. Um, yeah, not bad for a blend with uh, no detectable barley. And good quality flakes, uh, as you saw. So, Stevan Skip, I don't know what it is either, but I really appreciate you sharing it with me. It's uh, It's good stuff. So again, a little bit of uh, shop work done today because I have had a fairly light morning. It's about to change, but hey. So I'm working on this saddle stem uh, from my buddy Jack. This is a custom built. And uh, I'm getting to the point where it's going to be just hand shaping. I, I still want to bring this down a little bit. I don't like the way sometimes saddle stems will trump it out as, as you go from here to here. So I got I got a little bit more work on that, and not to redefine the uh, the saddle, but uh, yeah, it's 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 coming along. Jack wanted a big stem, so we're not going to really change this very much. I've I've slightly um, scooped this. There's a little bit of a taper, and then it widens out into a subtle fishtail. I think that'll make him happy. So I'm working on it, Jack. I got another job. Uh, 
But I wanted to start today, but I don't have the ebonite, so I had to order ebonite. So I'm doing that and smoking pipes and getting getting some other work done. It's raining. What are you gonna do? Oh, we gotta do something about that floor. But you guys don't seem to mind the noise. It's an old house. It's gonna creak and squeak. Yeah, I like it. I I like the character of it. It's funny. My wife really doesn't like this house. She would move if she had her druthers. But we're comfortable now, so we're probably not going to move. I, on the other hand, love it. You know, I just, I just think it's a fantastic house. We, we haven't really taken full advantage of it because we got a lot of, a lot of remodeling that we're still in the process of doing. But uh, yeah, I just like it. And the garden's coming along. Uh, don't have anything actually in the ground yet, but I've got some cucumbers sprouted that are beautiful. Uh, Couple of tomatoes, couple of peppers. Got the beds prepared. We put some compost in them uh, over the weekend, and it's been raining ever since. So as soon as the rain slows down enough, I'll get at least those cucumbers out. I might give some of the other things a little bit more time to establish before I put them into the ground. And we're going to make one bed all beans this year, all string beans. So that'll be interesting. Uh, we both like string beans a lot, and you know, you have one or two plants, you get like a handful and you really want a lot more than that, so you can always freeze them. Uh, so we're going we're gonna to grow as many string beans as we possibly can. <laughs> we'll see how that goes. One thing we've been uh, arguing is a strong word, but discussing uh, is whether or not you need to string you know, like trellises for for the beans. Um, I've always known string beans to be climbing. Uh, vine-like plants, and my wife is telling me that you can get things that are more like standalone bush-type plants, and I guess you can, but I don't know what they are. So she's in charge of getting the string bean seeds, and we'll see how that goes. Well, that's about it, guys. I don't have a lot on my mind today, so it's going to be a short one. Uh, we do have, coming up on Friday, a uh, virtual pipe club. Just me and you guys. Uh, should be fun. Uh, we, we always have a good time with that. And I may actually try something out. Uh, I've been thinking about making a slight change to how I do interviews, and I want to, if I have the time to get it set up, I'm going to ask for your opinion on that. Uh, it's a small change, but we'll see how it goes. So please join us Friday night at 8 p.m. You'll enjoy it. Well, maybe you won't enjoy it, but I'll enjoy it. Well, I'm going to go finish this bowl and probably sand on that stem a little bit and then get back to work. So thanks for watching. Thank you, Steph and Skip. Really appreciate this. The jam is beautiful, so thank you much for that. Everyone else, uh, well including Steph and Skip. Take care. <laughs> Have a good rest of the week, and uh, I'll look forward to seeing you on Friday night. Take care, everybody. Look at that. I hit the wrong thing. Take care. <laughs>